Hey guys, Mac and Sarah back with a new tutorial and today we are going through how to change your default booting OS. Uh, so this only really applies to people who have uh, dual or triple boot with their computers. And yeah, so this computer actually has two OS's, Windows Vista and Windows 7. So I'm just going to show you two different methods and how to go about changing uh, the default boot thing. So the first method I want to show you is the MS config. So uh, open the run window, which is just hold the Windows key in OR, and then type in MS config. Oh God, yeah. So when that starts up, uh, go into your boot tab, and you'll see your list of OSs. Uh, just click set as default, apply to whichever OS you want. And then when you click OK, it'll ask you to restart. If you wanted to use restart, uh, I don't want it for this tutorial, so I'm just going to exit. So now Vista is my default booting OS. Now, the second way you can go about changing that, I, well, I actually want 7 to start up, so I'm going to change that again. So I open up a command prompt window, so uh, open the start menu, type in command prompt, or CMD, and if you hold Control shift and then press Enter, uh, you start programs as an administrator, and this program, which is called BCD Edit, needs to be uh, run as an administrator. Another way of doing it is type in command prompt, use your mouse, right click, run as admin, but yeah. So, the program in here we're going to be using is uh, BCD Edit. Now, if you're running XP or before, you have a different command called boot config. I'll probably do a video on that again, but if you're running Vista or later, you will be using a program called BCD Edit. So we'll just run the program without any arguments. And what it does is it gives us a list of uh, the OS is on it and then the boot manager there. So we can see here uh, the one I'm on is Windows 7, but it's not the default one. The default OS, uh, which is Windows Vista, which is expected because we just told it to change it that way. So to change the default OS, uh, you do bcd edit slash default, and then you do uh, the disk you want to be default. So I want my current one to be default. So I just type in current with the brackets and enter. Uh, operation please successfully. If I were to do BCD edit again, you would see though that there is no default, but it's that's because I assigned it to the current. Now, you might be wondering, well, what's this string of numbers here then that's underneath this identifier? What does that mean? Well, basically, what that is, is uh, every hard drive or disk you would put into the computer would have its own uh, unique identifier. So if it wasn't actually assigned to Anthem, you could change your thing to be for this to be default. And for you to do that, you just replace current with this number. So uh, basically, it would look like this, then bracket, uh, 